Waj, Zet, and Uaj can all be names used for Pharaoh or King Jet. Jet ruled during the first dynasty. He was the third pharaoh of the period. Although his name is mentioned in the Palermo Stone, unfortunately there are no clear dates to his reign. The exact dates are not clear due to the history's murkiness during this time period. There was most likely a ruler between Jer, Jet's father, and himself. Most likely this ruler was Jet's believed to be sister, Marinith. She was also known to be Jet's wife, and later co-ruled with their son. However... The Pharaoh Jet was buried in the tombs of Abydos, along with his father and his children. He was more specifically buried in the early dynastic portion of these tombs, called in Egyptian, Am al-Kaeb, translated roughly to American, this, tra um, this, is, um, this means mother of pots. This is because the region is strewn with offerings left in pots by those who had visited the tombs. The tombs themselves are located approximately 500 kilometers from the capital of Egypt, Cairo. Constructions on the tombs at Um al Kaab began approximately 33700 BC during the pre dynastic period. It, it became an elite tomb for kings only uh, at approximately 3400 BC, and since then has been the exclusive burial, burial place of the, of the first dynasty's pharaohs. Construction of the tombs was primarily a mixture of brick made from Nile River clay and wood imported from the state of Lebanon. Jet's tomb is located just west of his father Jur's tomb. It was first re-excavated re by Werner Kaiser and Gunther Dreyer in 1988. It is worth noting but there is a large number of subsidiary burials around his tomb. These are not family members, but retainers who were likely executed at the time of his death. Archaeologists used to believe that he had a tomb at Saqqara as well. There are not many, or complete, grave goods found from Pharaoh Jet's tomb. What Petrie did find were various fragments of pottery because of the style of this pottery, it suggests there was trade between Egypt and Syria, Palestine. Also, the ceramic used to make the pottery was modeled after the earlier style of straw-tempered Nile silt pottery. According to Petrie, Jet's tomb was the only royal tomb to contain human remains inside. A disembodied arm was found wrapped in linen. Copper tools have also been found, and these include knives, axes, chisels, and more. Other famous discoveries found in Jet's tomb include an almost fully intact comb and some jewelry. These items show how amazing the craftsmanship was at this time. The most famous item found from Jed's tomb was the stele of his Sarek. However, the kings of the first dynasty were buried in the heart of the old southern kingdom at Abydos, in brick lined tombs out in the desert an offering place flanked by stele bearing their names. Perhaps the finest is the one shown here of King Jet. This was found in 1898 and is now in the Louvre Museum in Paris. An exceptional example of the perfected austerity of form and design characteristic of Jet's reign survives in the form of this large memorial stele, one of two originally set up outside his tomb. 
This magnificent memorial of the king and of his reign is expressed by the rearing serpent, surmounted by a falcon symbolic of the god Horus, suspended in the sky above the battlements of the fortified palace whose facade forms the serac in which the king's name is written. We could interpret Jet's very simple name to mean Horus Serpent or Horus the Snake from the stele and other inscriptions. Jet's stele demonstrates its restraint, exceptional refinement, and an understanding of form which could not be repeated until the coming of the Greeks, nearly 2,500 years later. Even then, the Greeks hardly ever achieved the monumental simplicity that the unknown master of the stele of King Jet produced with such divine assurance. It is one of the masterpieces of Egyptian art. However... Located around Jet's tomb at Abydos are 174 subsidiary burials. Most of the people buried around him are retainers, who had been sacrificed following the death of Jet to serve him in the afterlife. The position of these tombs compared to the pharaoh's tomb is meant to reflect the relationship of their occupants to the pharaohs during their lifetime. Buried with the pharaoh would be officials, priests, retainers, and women from the royal household who were all sacrificed to serve the pharaoh in the afterlife. From the time of Jet onwards, the retainers in the tombs would often be identified. Sometimes, their name would be painted in red ink on the south wall of their tomb, but mostly, their name would be inscribed on a small stele that was placed inside the tomb. Also, humans were not the only beings to be buried with the pharaoh, but they would also practice animal sacrifice. The animals sacrificed and buried were expected to assist the pharaoh in the afterlife. All of the first dynasty royal burials have subsidiary burials, and this is the only period in ancient Egypt when human sacrifice was used for royal burials. This practice would be discontinued after the first dynasty, and in later periods, small servant statues would become more popular to be placed in the tombs with the pharaohs. Unfortunately, this tomb and most of the artifacts were intentionally torched in a later dynasty in an attempt to delete unpopular pharaohs from the annals of ancient Egyptian history. Thank you for watching.